out of the box or out of the wall, whatever I call it, we have, oh God, don't drop it, Edge of Tomorrow or Live, Die, Repeat, which apparently they are making a sequel to this called Live, Die, Repeat, and Repeat. But this is probably the weirdest movie, which they didn't know what to call it. It's like, I swear to God, it was Live, Die, Repeat in the first two weeks of release. Then they switched it to Edge of Tomorrow because no one was seeing it and they were so damn confused. Should they have been confused or should they have watched this film? Chase Lee Hockey here with the Blue Futon reviewing Edge of Tomorrow. So what's this movie about? Pretty simple premise. This is Tom Cruise as a major in this fake army, if you want to put it, in this alien invasion. And he is basically public affairs. He is there to basically tell people, we're going to win this war. We're going to win this war. We're going to win this war. But a four-star general says, actually, you're going to the front lines. And he's like, no, I'm not. I'm a major. I'm PA. I'm going to blackmail you. But bam, he's a deserter. And now... He went to battle one time and got blood from a mimic on him. And now he has to repeat the same day every single day until he figures out how to kill these aliens. So, I like this film. This was a weird movie. I, okay, first off, love this film. But I think it's one of the movies, like I said, where people didn't know what they were watching or what they're getting themselves into. But I think it had like more of a cult following on DVD sales, streaming sales. And people realized, yo, you need to watch Edge of Tomorrow. It is that good. Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, Bill Paxton does a fantastic job in this movie. It has the right humor, the amazing action, the realism. And you're like, wait a minute, Chase. It's an alien movie. How is it realistic? Well, the suits they are wearing are 80 to 120 pounds. They are doing a lot of stuff in backlots. The really only CGI elements are probably the aliens and some background effects. Explosions, them running. Them shooting the guns are all real in camera. And that's why this movie works. Doug Lehman, he has a bunch of hit and miss movies. Like, this one's good. I hated Jumper. Chaos Walking, is that what it's called? Chaos Something with Tom Holland. Isn't as bad as what people are saying it is. Uh, He also did, I think, the first Born movie. Yeah, he did Born Identity. And I think he's going to do Live, Die, Repeat, and Repeat. And a new Tom Cruise movie where Tom Cruise is doing a space walks with SpaceX. So... I'm very interested in what he's about to do next. But he does a great job behind the camera. It's written fantastic. Christopher McQuarrie, again, he wrote this one. Everything that guy touches, I swear, is gold. That, Mission Impossible, Top Gun Mavericks. He's probably done way more that's in his filmography. That's like, yo, you're actually, you're like the Aaron Sorkin of action movies when it comes to doing a solid damn script. Like, he's an A-plus script writer. Fantastic. Emily Blunt, I can't say enough. She does a fantastic job. She holds her own 120%. Tom Cruise holds his own 120%. The movie holds its own 120%. It's fantastic. Non-stop. Hysterical. There are parts where you're supposed to die. And it's never boring. With movies like this, you could become boring where it's like, okay, we're doing a Groundhog's Day. We're doing a Bill Murray Groundhog's Day. But there's enough oh shit moments are like, wait a minute. We're actually changing the story here. Where it keeps you entertained for the whole roughly two hour esque movie. If I have to give some negatives to Edge of Tomorrow, ooh, what are some negatives of this movie? Man, you gotta be so damn nitpicky to talk about this movie. Yeah, you can say it's somewhat generic and it is kind of predictable. And it could be a cliffhanger and ending where you're like, ooh, what's he gonna say? Does Emily Blunt actually know what's going on? But it's a fantastic sci-fi movie. This one is very hard to find faults for. But it's also a very hard movie to give 100%. Because you watch it. Yeah, it's a good movie. But you're like, it's fun. It's fun, but it's not on that level where I could be like a Tremors kind of sci-fi movie. Like that one holds something special in your heart where every time you watch Tremors, it's like chef's kiss. Here it is a chef's kiss. But it'll make me feel kind of dirty to give it 100%. Have you ever felt that way? Where it's hard to give a negative, but it's also hard to give it 100%. Am I a hypocrite when it comes to Edge of Tomorrow? But overall, fun, fast-paced, great action, great comedy. It really, really holds its own. Edge of Tomorrow will receive a 4.5 out of 5 of food tons. It goes at 90%. Let's see the Critics News scores gave this one. We have Critics a 91% with 337. 
Audience score 90% with over 100,000 critic consensus. Grippy, well acted, funny and clever. Edge of Tomorrow offers entertaining proof that Tom Cruise is still more than capable of shouldering the weight of a blockbuster action thriller. I'm just curious, Chris, Christopher McQuarrie, what uh, his worst reviewed is The Mummy. I don't know if he written it or produced that one, but he's on Mission Impossible, The Jack Reachers, uh, Top Gun Maverick, Edge of Tomorrow, Wolverine, Jack the Giant Slayer, Jack Reacher, The Tourist, Valkyrie, Way of the Gun, The Usual Suspects. He has a solid, solid filmography. 90, 90, 91. Chase Hawk with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if they Blue Town Topi. Blue Town, take a watch a great day. Not going to watch a day tomorrow. We've found a month and a half, a year from now. I love every single one of you. Have you ever see- met anyone who did not like this movie? Now that is a question. <laughs>